Artificial intelligence is rapidly finding its way into almost everything you can think of. Over the past months, we've seen this technology being used in different ways to do incredible things. Now, I know AI has been pretty cool so far, but things are starting to get a lot more exciting. I'm talking about Unreal Engine 5.2. Previous versions of this amazing software have been used to develop some of the most realistic games around, including Fortnite. However, with the integration of AI into this software, things are about to get a bit crazier. Today, I'm going to walk you through Unreal Engine 5.2 and show you how it's being used to create some mind-blowing, ultra-realistic simulations. But before that, Hello and welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest developments, breakthroughs and releases in artificial intelligence technology. Without further ado, let's get started. Unreal Engine has been around for a very long time and their technology has been used to create some of the most realistic simulation games out there. Recently, Epic Games unveiled a new version of their software called Unreal Engine 5.2. Unlike the previous versions, this new version is powered by artificial intelligence technology. Version 5.2 is capable of creating realistic digital worlds that look similar to ours. As you can see, it is able to simulate how a forest will look like and how all of this beautiful foliage will look in reality. Even though reality looks a little bit different, this is extremely convincing. The environment is so immersive that you might think you're exploring a real forest. And the mind-blowing part of it all is that everything here is running in real time. So, everything you're seeing here is being generated on the go. Now, I'm going to show you a demo of this insane technology so you see firsthand what I'm talking about. The demo begins with a rich foliage scene lit by the sun. If you're a graphics programmer, you know how difficult it is to get realistic foliage like this. Most graphics technology available at the moment is nowhere near this in terms of quality. Natural environments are the hardest to render, and that is why Epic is showing off here. Initially, Unreal Engine's Nanite Virtual Geometry system did not work with foliage, but it has received several updates since its launch, improving its capability to the point that plants can deform and move in response to stimulus in the digital environment. The demo centers on a Rivian electric truck that moves through the natural rainforest environment. According to the developers, this truck is physically simulated down to the individual suspension components. And if that wasn't mind-blowing enough, all the physics interactions here are realistically modeled down to individual rocks that move under the truck's tires, as well as advanced water simulation. The truck itself was apparently provided to Epic by Rivian itself, and the model supposedly features 71 million polygons which Epic was able to place into the digital environment thanks to Nanite's virtualized geometry. Rivian even uses Unreal to power their instrument cluster, including 3D virtualization of their vehicles. The Rivian truck serves as a demonstration for the new substrate material framework. This is essentially a modification of Unreal Engine's existing material system, such that it can now simulate multiple layered materials, even on the same surface. As we continue our exploration, the car's painted metal body is transformed into a material that simulates an opal gemstone, complete with subsurface refractions that change realistically as the camera moves around. This all looks very realistic, but things get a bit more exciting when a mud layer is applied to the car. Notice how the reflection changes when interacting with a dust layer. It is almost as if you're working with a real car here. Moving ahead, the Rivian travels under a fallen log, and then we see a small, muddy open area. This is the beginning of the more impressive part of the demo. According to the developers, only a small part of this environment was created by hand, 
an area about 200 by 200 meters. The rest of the environment, including everything past the fallen log, was apparently procedurally generated based on the handcrafted zone. Given all the advancements in artificial intelligence technology over the past months, this kind of thing shouldn't be as impressive as it is, but seeing it all in action is just mind-blowing. All you need to do is just create a segment of the environment and the whole thing prompts itself automatically to add log bridges for the upper area and to look natural below. And if you don't want anything that was generated, you can remove it or simply move it around. Moving the pre-made environment causes Unreal Engine to automatically fill in the gaps with realistic puddles of water, small rocks, and light foliage. The full area of the demo, including the small handcrafted portion, apparently extends out by about 4 kilometers in either direction. That's pretty crazy, considering how little of the scene was handcrafted and how diverse the environment is. If it were just copy-pasting the handcrafted parts, that would be one thing. But that doesn't look to be the case. The whole environment looks utterly unique, and nothing looks the same. Just imagine the kind of digital worlds you'd be able to create with this. Games like Fortnite are even taking things a step further. They're making use of a new rendering system called Lumen. This system is capable of computing global illumination in real time. I know you might not understand what I mean, so let me explain. Global illumination is an intricate simulation of light where even indirect illumination can appear. This is the effect of light as it bounces through multiple diffuse surfaces. This beautiful phenomenon occurs in nature, but it is not so present in many digital worlds because it is extremely slow and expensive to compute. But here, whenever the environment changes, its effect is now computed properly. And not just the direct effect of the light that you see here, but the indirect effect. In other words, how it bounces around in the scene. Everything changes how it would in a natural environment. So for instance, if a wall is destroyed, the lighting of the whole scene changes once again. Not just direct illumination, but indirect illumination as well. Now, I know you might be thinking, the geometry is quite simple here. Can it also handle more complex scenarios? Well, the answer is yes. It can handle very complex scenarios. Previously, this would take hours or days to compute, but now it all happens in real time. Honestly, this is far better than anything we've seen so far. We can now create virtual worlds where the light of every single candle is computed convincingly. This technology, combined with the power of generative AI, could really accelerate game development. You could literally create an entire game in just a few hours. Plus, you don't need to have advanced coding skills, yet you'd be able to create an immersive environment that interacts with characters in the game, similar to what you'd find in a real-world scenario. Not just that alone, it would also drastically reduce the cost of making games. Some of the biggest games available cost more than some big blockbusters to create. Creating a game for such a ridiculous amount makes it very difficult to generate profit. But this new tech might be able to solve all of that for good. Another area that would really benefit from this technology is virtual reality. VR glasses are becoming a trend these days. Now, just imagine what it would feel like to explore such a digital world in VR. The experience would feel almost the same as moving in a real forest. Artificial intelligence is helping us to achieve so much, and this is only the beginning. If you're a developer and you'd want to get your hands on the new Unreal Engine 5.2, you don't even have to wait at all because this software is available in preview. Even if you're not a game developer, you can also use the tool to create your own virtual paradise. The applications here are limitless, so you should definitely try it out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on the recent developments in the world of AI.